So now we're going to look at how you can add details to this, such as stickers or maybe text and things like that. Now you do already have a lot of different things in here, alphas and stuff with different markings and even some tools to help you write text onto your scene. Uh, but a really good way of doing this, or probably the, the easiest way to do this, is to create your own stamps and details in here. So for example, I might want to put on here that this has got a 30 litre capacity. So I'm going to create a new document in Photoshop and just have it 1024 by 1024 with the resolution of 72. And you can make them much bigger, but this will be fine for what I need now. Now I'm going to add some text to this. So I'm going to type 20 and then I'm going to control T to make this bigger. And put an L on this as well. And then another text layer. So we have 20 litre max. Okay, so I want to take these and I want to change the color to white. And then I'm going to delete the background. And we need to make sure that this has a black background as well. Okay. So the next thing we can do is save this out. Now you can save this out as PNG, Targa, you can save it out as a PSD. I'm actually going to save this as a PSD so that I can preserve some editing. So once you've saved that as a PSD, name it something that you can remember. Okay, so back in Substance Painter, we want to drop that into our shelf. And we want to select uh, Alpha and Project Oil Can. You can see I've already got a few here. I've been testing out. Um, so to make the paint, I want to create a fill layer and I want that to be black. And we want to add a bit more roughness because I want it to be shiny. And I'm going to add a tiny little bit of height as well. So I'm just going to put 0.5 for height. 0.05, sorry. And then we're going to add a black layer to that mask, add a black mask, sorry, to that black layer, and then add a paint to that. And then we're going to click the PSD 20L, and you can see that pops that into the alpha channel here of the brush. And then we're just going to paint this directly onto the oil can like that. So you can see that's added the roughness. It's basically just masked out that layer underneath. So we've got the roughness that we can change. And we've got the height that we can change as well. So we only want a tiny bit of height. And just for reference as well, when you're doing realistic stuff, really go easy on the height. It's, it's very easy to see uh, the height and it, it's, a, it's a quick way of making your assets look a little bit cheap and old fashioned. So just go very, very easy on that height. Now in the same layer, we can add some more paint and we can start removing some of this so we can make it look damaged. So we go to brushes, we can go to say Dirt 2 again and we can set this to black and we can just start removing some of that that we put on there and make it look a little bit more damaged. And you can also put generators on the top of this or an overall fill to get the same result. Think about the lines that you're making, you know, what kind of things will be on this. If you need to look at some reference for some old kind of paint chips and stuff then and do so. Okay, so that's a good way of doing alphas and, and, and that kind of thing, but sometimes you might need to add, uh, say, stickers. So a good way of doing that is, again, make an empty layer and get back to Photoshop and find something that you want to turn into a sticker. So back in Photoshop, I've got this flammable liquids, and I'm just going to scale this up to fill my document. So I just grabbed this from Google, and I'm going to use it as a sticker on the side of this oil can. So I'm just going to cut out what I want. So I'm going to select it and then go control G and delete the layer underneath. Okay, so this is going to be our color. So we can go to file, save as, and I'm going to do flammable. And then I'm going to select that, make a new layer and fill that with white. 
I add the other layer and save this as flammable alpha. And then back in Painter, I'm just going to drop them two new files in. And I'm going to set the first one as an alpha and the second one as a texture. So alpha, alpha, color, texture, import them. I'm going to add a paint to the layer that I've just made. And then I'm going to drag the flammable color into the base layer of my brush. And I'm going to drag the alpha we made into the alpha channel as well. Now we've got this flammable sticker that we can paste onto our oil can. Now if we want to add a little bit of more uh, roughness variation and height variation to this, what we can do is under our actual uh, stamp, we can turn on height and roughness and we can just increase the roughness a little bit and maybe give it a tiny bit of height. Stamp that on and just have a look how that works. Maybe adjust it just a little bit. Once you've got something that you like, uh, you can always come back to this layer, uh, go to the height uh, layer stack and just reduce that down so you can minimize the effect of that and you can do the same to roughness. And then if you want to start removing some of this, what we can do is go to the uh, eraser and we can go to brushes and select uh, like the dirt one again and we can just remove some of this with the eraser brush. Now, if you wanted to add more effects with this using the alphas, you'd need to get this exact shape into your alpha channel. So if you wanted to add um, some overall damage to this or whatnot, then you're gonna have to try and make an alpha channel out of this. And you can do this by putting an anchor point. So an anchor point takes a reference and pastes it into another uh, adjustment. So I'll just show you how to do that now. So if we add a black layer to this, and then we come back to our fill layer and click on our paint. We're gonna right click the paint and go add anchor point. So when the anchor point comes up, you can see that it's referencing layer two. So then we can go to our black channel. We can add a fill and then select the fill, come up to the grayscale uniform color, click on that and then you'll get this tab that says anchor point next resources. If we click on the anchor point, we can see we've got this layer two anchor point. So if we select that, we can see with these settings, we now have just about can see that we have a tiny little white alpha based off whatever is in this channel and it's referencing this paint here. So then with that selected, above this, we can now add other layers. So if we add another fill, and this time we just wanna go for roughness, we can go into roughness here and we can select a grunge map. And you can see that grunge map will only affect the area that that sticker is on. So it's just a little bit complicated part of this. And you know, there's several ways of doing it. You don't need to do it like this, but uh, this is the best way I've found to get stickers with all the information in them and be able to adjust it easily at any point. So now we've got a sticker on there. And although there are other techniques for adding stickers and stencils and decals and stuff like that in Substance Painter, they're the two easiest and most straightforward ones I've found so far.